Hi, my name is Chris Volo. I'm a software developer with Automation Control Products in Alpharetta, Georgia. And today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your iPad as an ACP enabled terminal using ITMC. You'll see I've already downloaded the ITMC application and I'm going to launch it. First thing you'll see when you launch the application is the configuration screen. First thing you're going to want to do is create a new configuration. Tap the new configuration icon and it's going to ask you to fill out a form with a description. The description can be anything. And the next two fields are the primary thin server IP address and the secondary thin server IP address. These are the thin servers that you want the terminal to connect to. The secondary one is optional. If you don't have a secondary one, you can leave that one blank. When you're done, hit the save button. And you'll see the new configuration has appeared in the list. To connect, what you need to do is tap the configuration and press the connect button. If it's your first time connecting to this thin server, you're going to be asked to pick a replacement terminal or create a new terminal. Since I have four available terminals to choose from, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the first one, iPad A. And the terminal will go out, download its configuration from Thin Manager, and display your display clients for you on the main screen. Once the terminal has downloaded its configuration from Thin Manager, you'll notice it'll have four display clients in the home screen. You can navigate through these display clients by doing a single finger swipe or by using the bottom bar at the bottom of the application. To use a particular display client, Simply tap the one you want to use and it will become full screen. Now that you've got the display client full screen, there are a few basic gestures you need to know to get started. The first is to perform a left click, all you have to do is tap the point on the screen which you wish to left click. If you want to right click, simply do a long press. Hold your finger on the screen for a half second or more. To get more detail on a particular section of the screen, you can zoom in by doing your standard Apple pinch gesture. Once you're zoomed in, if you need to scroll to a different part of the screen, you can do so by doing a two finger swipe gesture. and then to zoom out, just pinch out like that. To deploy the keyboard, you can either use this keyboard button in the upper right hand corner of the screen, or for faster access, you can do a two finger long press and the keyboard will come up. You can also hide the keyboard with the same gesture or by using the button. Those basic gestures should be enough to get you started using the application and running display clients. We've just covered the basic features of display clients. There are more advanced features and gestures which enhance and extend the functionality of ITMC. When you're using a display client, you may want to hide the top menu bar. You can do so by either pressing the hide toolbar button next to the tile button or by using a three finger long press. You'll notice now I have more area of the screen to work with. To get the menu bar back you can use a three finger long press or alternatively if you're done using this particular display client you can zoom out and go back to the home screen. Within a display client, 
If you don't want to go back to the home screen to change display clients, you can use a three finger swipe gesture to go to the next display client or previous display clients. Now you'll notice that when I zoom in on a particular portion of the screen, there's a mini map in the upper left hand corner that lets me know which part of the screen I'm zoomed in on. You can hide the mini map by using the map button. Or if the mini map is obstructing your view, you can move it to a different region of the screen by long pressing it until it turns green and then dragging it where you want to be. If you want to bring it back to its <coughs> default position, just double tap it and it'll go back where it iOS 6 has a feature called guided access which allows the owner of the iPad to lock the iPad down to one specific application. If you want to restrict the iPad's access to only the ITMC application, you may want to enable guided access. To use guided access, press the home button and go to settings. Underneath the general tab, scroll down to accessibility guided access and turn it on. You're going to need to set up a password and make yours a little bit more secretive than mine is. And Go back to ITMC. To start guided access triple tap the home button and you'll see a menu will appear you can lock the rotation of the iPad if you want to. I'm not going to do that. I'll just hit start in the upper right hand corner. And now, the only application I'm allowed to use is ITMC. If I try to go back to the home screen, it'll pop up an error message. Or if I try to power off the iPad, it also won't let me. To exit guided access, triple tap the home button again and it will prompt you for the password. Enter the password and hit end in the upper left hand corner. Now I'm free to use other applications. ITMC has a few additional features I'd like to show you. If you go back to the configurations page by pressing the back arrow, you'll notice three buttons at the bottom toolbar. The first one is a quick reference for all the gestures that you'll need for the display clients. So if you forget any of the gestures, you can easily look them up here. The background button will allow you to change the background of the application. If I press set a new background image, I can go to my camera roll and set it to any image I want to. So this could be your company logo or other information that you want to display to the user. Of course this background image is also visible on the home screen. And thirdly, if you want to send us feedback on the application regarding a feature or an issue, you can email us from within the application if your device is set up to send email just press the email ACP button and if you want to you can attach a log file for the device and send us a message that covers the basic features of ITMC Expect to see more features coming in the future, and thanks for watching.